I apologize, guys and girls, is the average man here. Uh, just wanted to show you a new ball that I've got today from Siseco. It's the PyLite R. Um, it's really simple, but really clever. So it's about three quid. Um, it's got eight LEDs in the board. You can see it at the back there, attached to the GPIO. It connects to GPIO, it, it gives eight LEDs, it's got eight resistors hooked up to there already, so you've got nothing to do. It comes pre-assembled, nothing to build, really good for teachers, that kind of thing. Um, I've just done a blog post about it, about to go live on that, and I thought I'd just show you the, the kind of like the different code examples I've got in the flesh. So here we go. Uh, number one, I've called it the beginner. So all that is is just going to light one LED. There it is. That's going to go on for six seconds. That's about as exciting as that one's going to get. Okay. Uh, next one is the basic bit of code. Similar theme, but I'm lighting four LEDs. I'm just showing you you can light a few more rather than just doing the one. Again, simple stuff, but good for beginners. Uh, the next one I've called the simple script. So this one, I'll go ahead there. It's just going to scroll down away LEDs and then it's going to turn off. There we go. So far, so good. Might even do this in one take. Uh, next one is the second symbol or the less symbol. You'll recognize that for a Knight Rider. There it is. Uh, that goes on forever, so you'll have to kind of exit Python for that one. So that's just a, a kind of kit Knight Rider car jobby. And last one, I'm calling it intermediate. Now this one, I like this one, okay? So we've got a bit of temperature sensor in the code here. And um, what I've done from, let's see, LED1, which is over here, is basically that's going to light if the temperature is between 30 and 31 degrees. And then that will go off and the next one will light if it's between 32 and 33, then 34 and 35, etc. So basically we cover temperature going upwards this way between 30 and 44 degrees. So let's start the code. I should go blank first. There, okay. Now, how can I test this? Luckily, I borrowed my wife's uh, hairdryer here. So I'm going to put it on hot first. I'm sure the guys from the Pi Foundation will be thinking, What's he doing with a hairdryer on his pie? But let's see, hopefully the camera won't fall over. I'm gonna go hot, so it should go to the right from what you can see. Are you ready? Okay. There we go, so the temperature went up, so the light went to the right. And if I just give it a minute, that should cool down. And what it does, it checks every three seconds. So that's gradually going to go back down to left, I hope. Otherwise, there's something not quite right there. So let's just wait and see if that goes. It's still on the top LED. Maybe it's taking a little while to cool down. It was quite hot, that. It's a, quite a strong hairdryer. Well, let's try this. Let's, let's go on the cold now and see what happens. Ready? It took a while to get that last one to go. Um, but again, you can play with the code, you can play with the ranges yourself. Uh, mine's going to pretty much sit on the third LED. It's about 34 degrees, it seems to sit at normally. Uh, so there you go. So if you're doing a project, you can put one of those on if you're not using those GPIO pins. Um, and then you can kind of keep an eye on your temperature as well, which is good. So hopefully that was interesting enough, as eight LEDs can get. Uh, if you want to hear more about that, um, I've, I've written up the post, all the codes on the post. So that's at Average man versus raspberrypi.blogspot.com. Um, I'm on Twitter most of the time. All the pictures go on Pinterest. I'm on Google Plus, so add me on there. Uh, keep an eye out for the next post. Cheers.